The Prophet Nahum, chapter 1, verse 2. God is jealous. Your Lord is very jealous of your love, dear believer. Did he choose you? He cannot bear that you should choose another. Did he buy you with his own blood? He cannot endure that you should think that you are on your own, or that you belong to this world. He loved you with such a love that he would not stop in heaven without you. He would sooner die than you should perish, and he cannot endure that anything should stand between your heart's love and himself. He is truly jealous of your trust. He will not permit you to trust in an arm of flesh. He cannot bear that you should hew out broken cisterns when the overflowing fountain is always free to you. When we learn to lean upon him, he is glad. But when we transfer that dependence to another, when we rely on our own wisdom or the wisdom of a friend worst of all, when we trust in the works of our own, he is displeased and will chasten us so that he may bring us back to himself. He is also very jealous of our company. There should be no one with whom we converse as much as with Jesus. To abide in him only, this is true love, but to commune with the world, to find sufficient solace in our carnal comforts, to prefer even the society of our fellow Christians to secret intercourse with him. This is grievous to our jealous Lord. He would rather have us abide in him and enjoy constant fellowship with himself. And many of the trials which he sends us are for the purpose of weaning our hearts from the creature things and fixing them more closely upon himself. Let this jealousy which would keep us near to Christ also be a comfort to us. For if he loves us so much as to care so much about our love, we may be sure that he will not allow anything to harm us and will protect us from our enemies. Oh, that we may have grace this day to keep our hearts in sacred chastity for our beloved alone, with sacred jealousy shutting our eyes to any of the fascinations of the world. Amen.